hey guys welcome back to my channel today i am doing a video that has been well requested i am filming my apartment tour you probably know that because you saw the title of the video so it's actually furnished this time so you actually get a chance to see how i decorate um since my last apartment tour i have moved because my last apartment was just way too far and it would take me forever to get to work and to go out so i had to move a little bit closer into the city um just to kind of give you like some specs on this place i'm not gonna tell you where i live because you know creepos but this current apartment is 776 square feet um and i do pay 1561 i believe um in rent every month but this video i'm just going to show you guys my kitchen and my living room i'm gonna do like a two-part video uh so yeah you'll see my kitchen today and my living room and i'll kind of go through like where i got stuff if i remember how much it costs i'll let you know if i got it recently or if it's been a minute um, i'll let you know that as well this will probably be a long video so grab a drink grab a snack do what you got to do go to the bathroom take me to the bathroom with you that's weird but you know hey it happens uh so yeah stick around if you want to see how i decorate and yeah let's jump right in all right so when you first walk into um, my apartment i have these little planter things these are obviously fake i cannot keep flowers alive to save my life so i just have these there a little walkway area then i got my stick under the door because i'm a chicken and i'm always scared somebody's gonna break in even though we have like a little alarm thing right there i don't trust it not that i really just trust that stick but it is what it is over here these two doors that's where the washer and dryer is i'm not going to show you all that because it's a little messy because i'm in the middle of doing laundry and then i have this door here it's like a small coat closet um there again that's a little messy but i have coats in there and then crafts as well so going back over here like i said those came from tj maxx and i think they were like 19 dollars a piece so yeah i have these in my apartment back in dallas and so they made the transition here to houston and then we're gonna make our way into the kitchen so up here this is kind of funny um my mom she likes to craft and so she tried to make snow globes one year and this was her snow globe and it was an epic fail it's the Grinch and as you can see yeah it's just it didn't come out right but I told her I wanted to keep it anyway so it's like our little joke and I keep it there all year round and then this water was a water bottle or still is a water bottle but it's empty obviously uh she packed my lunch one day and this was in it and I thought it was cute so I decided to keep it and then this walk by faith not by sight a friend of mine um, I think this was in my last apartment tour even though I didn't have anything in it but a friend of mine got me that and I think it came from TJ Maxx home goods you're gonna hear that a lot in this video because that's where I get a lot of my decor from so I'm gonna take a step back so you can kind of just see this little area here um, so yeah I have that there and then up above this is not done i still have a lot of work to do like as far as decorating but um, i just have like some glass jars up there all of those came from home goods and um that little tray i think was a tj maxx find right there all of those i got about three years ago but you know with home goods and tj maxx you can always find stuff so in this corner it is my coffee bar I have my Keurig right here. I love this thing. If you don't have one, definitely get one. Uh, the stir sticks, my sugar, that little plant came from Target. The glass, or the glass, the cup that says you got this, it came from Home Goods. The tray, we have a store here. I don't know if they're everywhere, but it's called At Home. I got that, and I think that was like $19. And then the sign back there, same thing, came from At Home. I need to find something to wear i can just put it up here so you can actually see it but y'all let me put y'all on real quick with the tea this tea is so good don't say i never like did nothing for you try it with some honey it's bomb 
um, over here as you can see I like my coffee but um, there again here let me show you all these this is if it'll focus sweet and salty caramel cappuccino there again bomb try it I, this came from Amazon by the way so uh, check those out so that is my little coffee corner and then we're gonna move over here I just got some knives nothing special and then this is my cook top stove whatever you want to call it yeah that thing and I have a spoon rest um, love is all you need I got this from that same store at home and it is just gold I'm having a hard time with the lighting but it's just gold and I just leave it here to make it cute and before y'all say anything my oven or my stove is not on so I don't have to worry about it burning up okay so save your comments thank you um, here I am in the reflection my microwave like I said nothing special there and then over here this little plant y'all my nail is broke but this little plant right here came from home goods I thought it just looked really cute over here by my sink paper towels I always keep a candle there again I'll put y'all on this candle bird of paradise is like the bomb and then that scent is um, champagne toast from Bath and Body Works my house always smells good it's like a pet peeve of mine and then you'll notice my uh, granite it has like sparkles in it that was one of the things that sold me so it's just like really sparkly and cute and then I have a farmhouse sink I hate it I need the little divider in there because it's awkward trying to wash my dishes but we get the job done right here is my dishwasher that I hardly ever use because I just like washing my own dishes and then you'll notice we have really light hardwood floors and you see my cooler over there on the floor and then here is the island so it's a really long island I love it um, this chair my mom gave it to me she reupholstered it to go with my apartment in Dallas so it doesn't really go with the decor now but so it has like the alligator skin and then this little funky pattern or whatever so she reupholstered it because it was like a floral ugly office chair but that's that so we also have my place settings these uh placemats those came from target the charger plates here the blue charger plate I'm trying not to break this that came from z gallery my lovely mother bought those for me because z gallery ain't cheap and i refused and then we have these plates came from Home Goods. Yeah, Home Goods is where I got these. It's where I got the um, napkins and the ring holders came from Target. The napkins have like this gold in it. Y'all can see my theme is gold. I love gold. Anything that's sparkly, shiny, I love it. And the stools actually match that chair over there, but these stools don't really go with my vibe anymore, so I want to have my mom reupholster them, but I just don't know what I want yet. So if y'all have any ideas for me, let me know. So yeah, just a set of three, and then this little candle thing. I got this from, I believe the store is called Ellis Pottery. It is in Texarkana, Arkansas. I got it a while ago. I haven't seen them in a while, but the cool thing about it is you can put a candle right there and it's so cute when you turn the lights off and have like a candle in there it just sets the mood even though I don't have a reason to set a mood but you know I can set it for myself I guess so yeah that is my kitchen get my drink here by the way I just got these glasses from home goods the straws came from Amazon but um, I got two of these purple with the little gold rim. I think they're so cute. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to step back so you can see the kitchen as a whole. So it's not real big, but 
she cute and whatnot. So, I'll take you over here so you can see the art that I have on this wall. So the two pictures that are the same, those came from Target. I paid $35 a piece for those. And this piece, I love it. It is like crystals or stones and they're lined in gold. This is actually like a shadow box. Um, I got this from Home Goods and I paid $119 for it. But I thought it just looked so cute on this wall. It looks so like glamorous and I'm all about the glam. So that's that wall there. And that's coming like right when you walk into, well not right when you walk into my kitchen, but it is like a little hall, I guess you could say. So that's that. The only thing I don't like about this apartment, really one, of course, the size, but the walls scuff so easy. So you can see like scuff marks on the wall. Um, but I don't like that. But so yeah, there again, I'll give you another little run through of what this little area looks like. Now to where I actually film my videos for y'all. Here it is. This is the YouTube studios. <laughs> I actually moved that table and everything out of the way. But yeah, this is where I film. Nothing major, nothing big. Uh, right beside uh, the film equipment is a bookshelf that my dad gave me. My dad is very big into boats. So he gave me this and it makes me think of him and that's where i put all my books uh my lights this is a newer ring light you can see it on the back and then my box um box shadow box lights i don't know what they're called uh, you can see the brand right there so those three shadow box lights i think i paid 160 and then the ring light i think i may have paid like 150 for those as well gonna take it into my living room this chair and uh, stool came from at home y'all when I saw this I was just walking around because I love going to decor stores and this just yelled my name it was kind of expensive I think the chair was 119 and the stool was 60 or 80 dollars I can't remember but I just had to have it the pillow came from Target but it's just so fluffy. I rarely ever sit in it. I do sit in this when I make my videos, but it is just like so furry and soft. I love it. Um, this is like that furniture that you can't sit on when you go to your grandma's house. You know that one room, that's, that's this chair. It's just there for the looks. Um, so yeah, uh, right over here, the lamp. Y'all, I don't know, you can't really tell on camera, but it's like this gradient effect. And it's like shimmery and it turns to blue with this gold base. This was on sale at Home Goods. I went home to Dallas one weekend um, to see my mom. And they had these on sale for $35. So I had to get them. And then these little plants, my mom, she said that they would complement the lamp. So I bought those as well. And they're just some fake flowers. And again, I can't keep plants alive. So... We gotta go with the fake. And then these nesting tables. Uh, these came from Inspire Me Home Decor. I actually follow uh, the owner of the company on Instagram. And so the rim of this, let me put my glass down. The, this part right here is like a hard metal and it's like a champagne color. So depending on what it's close to, it just picks up on tones from like silver or, um, or goals I got this turned around I'm just not realizing it's turned around the wrong way but um, I absolutely love these these were expensive they were like $400 because I got like a set of two um, so yeah and then the coasters came from Alaska my uh, pop of color is blue and so they had like a little touch of blue and I thought it was like really cute so we're gonna make our way to my couch so my couch my my stepdad was gracious enough to buy me a couch when I moved into my second place because at first I just had like a little love seat and it was like real small even though this is like a love seat but it was super small so he was gracious enough to purchase me this couch 
thank you. I know you're not going to watch this, but thank you anyway. Um, all of these pillows, except for this middle blue one, came from, you guessed it, TJ Maxx Home Goods, even the blanket. The blue furry pillow, I got that off of Waypair. That damn pillow was $70. I could not believe I spent that much on a freaking pillow, but I did. And then these bad boys came from Home Goods. And so I felt like it just complemented the couch because it has the golds and the whites. And I felt like it just tied in with this area. The grommets or the nail heads on the couch go with the metal part of these uh, nesting tables. So I thought it was just perfect together. Felt like it tied everything in. And then I have the same thing over here. Um, just to match obviously the other side Then I have a blue shag rug you see Bella over there. She's in timeout. She's asleep right now But she's in timeout because she peed on my carpet and I was hella mad about it, but yeah, she in timeout uh, So yeah back to the apartment or the tour I guess uh, This table I don't really like it let me step back so you can see how it looks. I don't like it. I don't feel like it goes with the actual vibe of my apartment. It did in my last apartment, but it's such a good piece of furniture. And I caught it on sale for like $800. Um, the glass did break. So when I was moving from my apartment, the one y'all saw, the empty apartment tour, the people that moved me actually broke it. And I just haven't like replaced the glass yet. So I got to do that. But I'm a procrastinator. So I hadn't gotten done yet. And then like I said, I'm not sold on it being in here anyway. I want something more glamorous. Something like a solid glass top. And if I could find something with like legs or arms. Not arms. But legs like this. Or have like gold legs. That would be like super cute or a champagne color. But yeah, I just haven't found that piece yet. And then in the center of the table... I'm not sold on this. Like I said, it went with my last apartment, this little boat thing that holds these balls. Uh, not sold on it, but. All right, so like I was saying, this uh, little boat thing right here, I'm not sold on it. It doesn't, there, go, there again, match the vibe that I'm going for. And these little balls are actually Christmas ornaments that I just found at Target. Um, they still have the freaking price tag on them. I haven't cut it off. I was just trying to see what they look like. Let me see, I paid $3 for these. So I'm gonna repurpose them and they're gonna be my decorative balls on my table. Ladies, 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 if you're into reading, I highly suggest this book, um, Pink Lips and Empty Hearts um, by Heather Lindsay. It's a great book. Just kind of, you know, sheds light on, you know, the things we deal with as women. Uh, also, these little cards here, I got these, we went to Color Factory, me and a friend, and they had these little cards, and I just thought they were cute. They just have different sayings on them, so I just kind of threw them here on top of my computer. Now I'm going to take you this way. So that is um, my patio. That thing actually lets all the way up. It kind of just rolls up into that thing. Um, and then I have my patio. I'm not going to show you because I don't need y'all trying to figure out where I stay. Okay? Okay. Then... On this side, we're coming to a close. On this side, we have Bella's dog bowls. I got that from Target, and I think I paid like 30 bucks for it. And then I have my TV. And these vases right here, these came from Pier One. They were $54 a piece. I got those maybe a year ago, so don't think they have them anymore because I bought one and I liked it and I ended up having to go to three different stores to find the other one and they literally had one left. So uh, these little things, I don't know what to call them. This one, this glittery one, is actually a Christmas decoration, but it was sparkly. So I'm like, we're going to make her stay all year round. And then these, I think I got all of this stuff from at home and they were pretty inexpensive and so of course i have the matching one over here and just to give you a close-up of what it looks like i love this like i don't know mosaic looking tile work here with the gold contrast to it i just thought it was so cute and then another candle 
uh, for you guys. It smells so good. My friend Sigourney bought me this for my birthday, girl. She's still burning strong. I hadn't burned her up just yet. And then I also have Winter Candy Apple Room Spray. And another good candle for y'all is this one. It smells so good, but I bought it only because of that because this candle was like 20 or 30 dollars and i just literally bought it because of the lid because of the pop of blue and that stone but she smells good and then on this bookshelf i have a candle that my mom gave me a succulent and you can see the thing is broke at the top i dropped it and it broke but i'm like i'm not throwing it away yet and then just another candle that has like pictures of me and my family on it. I'm not going to show y'all up close because I look busted in some of the pictures. And then down here, I have my books or a few uh, more books. And these little uh, bookends came from TJ Maxx and they still have these. I literally got these like last weekend. And over here... I have a picture frame that I think I'm gonna put Bella's picture in. I think it'll complement the picture frame really well. That little globe came from um, Home Goods. That ball came from At Home. And then down here, this box came from TJ Maxx. And then last but not least, before we close out, is these two shelves. So those, my dad bought me those. Those came from Hobby Lobby. They're actually supposed to hang on the wall, but I just don't know where I want to put them, so I just put them there. And then these bookends. As a matter of fact, let me show you what they look like. I thought they were so cute and glamorous, but it's just like little jewels, so I had to have them. So, yeah, I'm going to give you guys a close-up, or not a close-up, but a full view of the room in just one second. Okay, so here is the full view of my living room. So yeah, that's it, guys.